Hello, and thank you for your interest in Virtual Filing Cabinet. In the next 10 minutes or so, I will be giving you a brief overview of our system, and I will be showing you why it is the only solution you will need to manage your small office, home office, and or your small and medium business. So to start things off, I'm going to explain what we see here in the top half of the screen. What we see here are all the communication activities that are linked to a specific entity. What does that mean? In this top left corner, we have a category entity, which is a list of all the categories in the system, companies entity, which is a list of all the companies in the system, contacts entity, a list of all the contacts, and a jobs entity, which is a list of all the shared projects created in the system. And what makes this uh, so unique is that all four of the entities are linked and by clicking on a single entity you can see how the other three entities are linked to it so for example if you click on the contacts entity and you select contacts defabricates now if from up here you select category it will show you all the categories that are linked to this contact so, for example, um, Steve Rabikowitz was found through uh, cold calling and he's a customer from the East Coast. As well, you can click on company and that will show you the companies that this contact is linked to and projects, which will show you all the shared projects that this contact is a part of. So what that means is, as long as you know something about your entity, for example, what category he's a part of, you can find him from our system. As long as you know his company name, for example, you can find him by saying, show me the contacts that are part of this company. Now, if you select on an entity, such as a contact, from this view, you can see all the emails, all the faxes, all the documents, and you can see here that I have a few documents, all the voice recordings and telephone recordings and voicemails all the telephone calls, so the call log, all the calendar events, all the notes that are specifically linked to entity Steve Fabricowitz. And this top view is what we call the business uh, relations view. Now from the bottom half, what you see here is like an inbox uh, in Outlook except that it shows you all the communication activities, not just your emails, calendar events, and tasks. So what you see over here are all the emails that have come into the system, all the faxes, in this case I don't have any, all the voice recordings, voicemails, telephone recordings that you've made, all the telephone calls, all the calendar events, all the notes, and all the scans that have come into the system. Now you'll notice that with each of these activities we have this known um, view and what this is is a way of filtering all of your communication activities between what is good and what is bad so if you have an email for example which is known that means that it's an email that has come from a contact that you've added so for example if you click on this contact and then you click on find it will load the contact for you in the database and now from here you can see all the emails, documents, telephone calls and so on and so forth that are specifically linked to the entity. If there's an email that has come in that is either spam or that is good but has still not been marked as good, you simply can view them from this unknown view. Now from here, if you have an email which is good, such as this email, there are four ways to populate the contacts. So if you right click and you select populate, it grabs the name of the company, the name of the contact, the email. What this will do is this will link the company and the contact together and it will add all the emails from this email address and it will link it to the contact. So you simply click on the contact and you'll see all the emails. And we do have three more ways to populate emails and you can view this uh, in the populate email video which can be found on our website. If you have Outlook or Gmail or Yahoo and Hotmail and you want to be able to import all your contacts and emails to our system so that you can use our system as the single solution to manage all your emails and contacts, you can import them right from here and 
for example, if you have Outlook or if you have Gmail, Yahoo, or if you have Outlook Express or whatever it is, we can do a complete import for you. And if you have Outlook, we can import your contacts, your companies, your categories, and we will do the linking for you so that you can click on a category and then see all the companies and contacts that were in Outlook that are now in your VFC system. As well, you can import all your emails from Outlook or from your Gmail, Hotmail, Yahoo account. And what this will do is this will link all the emails from the contacts that you've added to the contacts. So you simply click on the contact, you'll see all the emails and it will know to mark them as known. Or if it's an email from a contact that's not added, it will be unknown and then you can populate them. So what that means is within a few minutes, you can now have a single solution that can manage all your contacts, all your emails, all your documents, all your faxes, voice recordings, calendar events, notes, um, and more because we do have more features. And it's all done from a single solution. And because this is a client server solution, all the information is safely stored on the server and all the communication activities are automatically linked to the entities. So what that means is instead of in Outlook where you have to drag and drop an email to a contact folder, instead you can simply click on the entity and then see all the emails and each time an email comes in you will know to link it to the entity. Now I just want to show you very quickly for those of you that have Outlook we do have uh, sync with Outlook and as well what we have is an option where instead of loading our own built-in calendar and email editors you can do it so that it loads the Outlook calendar editor the Outlook email editor so uh, what that means is when you click on a contact and then you click on email instead of loading our own editors it will load uh, the Outlook editors and as well if you do have uh, the Outlook calendar and you have a smartphone um, as an example and you want to be able to sync from the Outlook calendar to our calendar we do have a two-way sync and it could be set every so often you want so what that means uh, for example is you would click on a contact click on the calendar button it will load uh, the Outlook uh, calendar editor you will then see the appointment in Outlook and then each time a sync is performed it will show up in VFC and if you make any type of uh, change to the calendar event whether in Outlook or in VFC it will make uh, the appropriate changes and as well for emails if you don't want to add your emails to our system because you already have everything set up in Outlook we can do a sync with the emails and this is the same as doing an import so it's not a simple sync it will check if the email that's being synced is um, should be linked to an entity and uh, it will do all the linking for you, the archiving for you, and if it is linked to an entity, it will show up as a known email. And this sync can be set to as often as uh, necessary. So there are two more things I'd like to show quickly. First thing is this job entity. Now the job entity is a place where you can share contacts and share all the communication activities that are part of that contact, or it's just a place where shared users can for example share documents or share emails or share notes so it's very simple to create a new job but before I do that I just want to show that jobs can be uh, classified as a type of job so in this way uh, when you create a job you can group similar jobs together so what I'm, uh, I'm going to do is show you how to create a job and I will classify it as a demos job which you can see all these red ones are all demo jobs so I'm going to right click select new job I'm just going to call it uh, demos one I'm going to classify it as a demos job and I'll give it full permission control click apply and OK it's added myself now I'm going to add users you'll notice that some of the contacts have a red mark and some don't those that have a red mark are users of the system whereas others are just my own personal contacts so what I'm going to do is uh, select Rohit select Rodrigo who's a contact and I'm going to basically drag and drop them to the job or if you want you could do a copy and paste and now what I've done in a very quick and simple way is I'm sharing contact Rodrigo with shared user Rohit and the way it looks in uh, Rohit's VFC is he has a job now called demos one uh, he doesn't have the face because he's not the job owner and if he clicks on the shared contact he can see now all the emails all the documents, 
um, all the you know voice recordings, telephone calls, calendar events, and notes that are all specific to that entity, but are now being shared. And as well, Rohit can view the contact information, he can edit the contact, send an email, make a recording, make an appointment, make a note. And these things are all shared. So it's a very quick and efficient way of, of sharing. Um, and as well, if you just want to create a shared job because you want to share information, here's an example of a live job that we're using, which is called marketing. You can see that it's all um, users. Right? We're not sharing any contacts. And if you click on documents, you can see that this is all the uh, marketing information for our company. And just very quickly to show you our uh, document management um, features, if you, for example, click on a file and you check it out, the system will know to load the software that's native to the file, which in this case is Word. Um, and it changes the status of the file so it tells the other shared users that this um, file is currently being checked out by me and the user who's in control of the file can make any changes they want to the file simply click save close it and now you simply check it in and now you give this a version label you put any shared comments that you like and that's it. Now the status of the file changes. You can view the previous versions of the file here. You can see who made the changes. You can see the shared comments, everything. Now in this case, because this is a live uh, document, I actually want this version to be set as the most current version because this is not real. What I'm going to do then is I'm going to select this version, select sync, select yes, and now what it's done is this is now set as the most current version. So if someone wants to view this file to make changes, he can make changes to the correct version of the, the file. So that's the job entity and some of the document management uh, functionality that we have. And finally, the last thing I want to show is uh, some information about Nano PBX. So as you can see here, it's about the size of a hard drive. It does VoIP to uh, PSTN uh, and it is fully uh, integrated with uh, VFC as I showed you. So there's click to dial, caller ID, and uh, the archiving of all the voicemails, call details, call recording as I showed you. And as well, it can be used as a full-blown PBX for an office. So there is a presence, a, a welcome message, an intercom, and so on and so forth. And this is all done from the PBX, which is fully integrated with our system. And just to summarize our virtual filing cabinet software and nano PBX hardware, they're both private cloud solutions, which means that they can be accessed from any location in the world, whether behind a firewall or in front of a firewall. You don't need to set up a VPN or any other complicated network configuration. It's 512-bit encrypted and you own the information. This gives you a virtual office solution meaning that wherever you are in the world, it will seem as if you're sitting in front of your desk at your office. Our products place the office for you under one umbrella, giving you a complete solution to manage your office. This is something none of our competitors can offer you, and it's at a one-time cost to you. For the single user, we have personal VFC. It starts at $69. For the small medium business, which can have as many as 250 concurrent users, it's called Work Group VFC. It starts at $99 per user, and for our Nano PBX solution, it costs $749 per PBX, and the PBXs can be cascaded. Thank you very much for your interest. If you'd like to try out our virtual filing cabinet solution, please go to our website for a free. 30-day trial at www.comerilvision.com and of course you can find on there all information regarding our solutions. Thank you for your time.